freedom. Today I wanted to talk to you about clickbait versus clickworthy. Recently I put out a video that had a pretty sensationalist title about hidden features here on YouTube. Um, Julius, can we put like something on screen demonstrating what I'm, okay, th thank you Julius. All right, so um, I saw these comments and immediately I was triggered. Thankfully, when we look up the definition of clickbait on Wikipedia, which since it's a web word and hasn't made it into Merriam-Webster's or any of the uh, dictionaries like the Oxford English Dictionary, we can see the general consensus is that clickbait, Julius, help me out here, only happens when you don't deliver on your promises made in the title or other miscellaneous promotional materials. So let's see, did we deliver? Are, were these in fact hidden features that people didn't know about? Uh, let's turn to the comment section. Now I didn't make this video just to defend myself for that video, but I did think that it was a really good way for us to go ahead and look at clickbait versus clickworthy. What's the difference? For the most part, clickbait happens when the user or the viewer feels betrayed in some way. They feel that they have not gotten the value that they clicked for. Now, in our example previously about these hidden YouTube features, which if you wanna check out, should be in that eye? No, that, that eye. You know, I should probably put a golf ball somewhere in the studio so I know where that eye is. There should be an eye on screen right now. If you wanna go check that video out, there may be some things there you didn't know about. But as with that, we did in fact give a value to a subset of partners, and I even included a warning that if we'll go ahead and roll it now. Just so you know, just so you understand, this is sort of the base level stuff that some of us probably already know. So please try not to jump down my throat saying that you know all of this stuff. This video may not be for you. That's right, that video probably wasn't for everyone, but as you can see from the comments that we rolled by earlier, you can see that we did in fact give that value. So that, that leads us to ask, if that wasn't clickbait, was it click worthy? I say yes. Some people, as we've demonstrated, say no. In the end, when it comes to something that is clickbait versus something that is not necessarily over sensationalized, but sensationalized to get people interested, you have to ask yourself where this line is for you. And I leave it with you because it is an opinion piece. It's your opinion versus everyone else's. For your channel, where do you draw that line? Do you draw that line when something is or maybe isn't um, where you don't deliver on that promise? I don't know. Let us know in the comment section down below what you have to say about clickbait versus clickworthy and maybe I'll do a little bit more of a structured video in the future so that you can see what other people said uh, in maybe a week or two. Anyway, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, Freedom Family. Thank you for watching another Freedom video. If you'd like to watch another, click over there. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel or check out your host, click over there. What are you waiting for? You do you, honey boo boo.